Hey, hey guys, welcome to my spooky videos. You never see through his entire house, breaking up everything with an axe, taking his dog into the garage, put him in the trunk, and turned the car on. He intended to take his own life before the devices went off. When Get ready. And three. For the biggest Two. musical comedy One. of all time. Let me break it down. Wow. Featuring original music. A neighbor overheard the car engine in the garage and peered through the window. Seeing the man in his car, he thought he'd had a heart attack, so he broke in to find him conscious. When the neighbors smelled a strong whiff of gasoline and subsequently broke into the guy's house, discovering the mess he'd made, he called the police. A police squad showed up, disposed of the devices, but sadly the dog had passed away in the trunk. The blast range was estimated to destroy many surrounding houses, and the scary neighbor was taken into custody, convicted, and sentenced to life in a ward. Be grateful for this nosy neighbor. This could have ended much worse. Number 12. The Red Ball. Elderly neighbors are supposed down, to offer dog. you cookies and hard candies from their pockets. Not take your baseballs. Get down, dog. Redditor Freedom Moon tells the Get story down. of a neighbor who lived two houses away. The neighborhood children would play ball at the nearby playground, which was next door to this old woman's house. Sometimes the balls would get away from them and find their way into the woman's front yard. They were all afraid of the old lady because her behavior was so strange when she left her house. They'd ask their parents to retrieve the balls for them whenever they entered her yard, but the children's parents never did. Why? The Redditor explains, My dad told me that when he went up there, he walked in and shouted if anyone was home. He saw a giant box full of retrieved balls which were covered in God knows what. Like some red slimy thing. The dad raced out of there, shouting an apology behind him. Freedom Moon still gets the creeps whenever he sees the woman's house, and he wonders what might have happened if one of them had Lessons with Twilight to help you. Though maybe 
Maybe you shouldn't use your powers anymore. Or at least not in school. Okay? Okay. I still think you were pretty crazy back there, but... Thanks for sticking up for me. Oh, thank you. I have an idea. Why don't we forget this whole mess and go down to Sugar Cube Corner? A good muffin always makes me feel better. Yay! Can we, Mommy? I'll clean the bathroom tonight, but that only takes a few... Please? Pretty please? Pretty please chocolate fudge sundae with whipped cream, rainbow sprinkles, and a cherry on top? <laughs> All right. Forever? They think I'm a freak. You don't know that. And if they do, I suggest you prove them wrong. Besides, they've already seen us. Hey, screwy! <sighs> hey. Look, I know you probably don't want to speak to me again after what I did. Are you kidding? That was awesome! Yeah. You mean you're not mad? Mad? Sure, we were a little freaked, but it's about time some pony taught those bullies a lesson. Just don't go loony on us again, okay? That scared the hay out of me. Now, what are you doing standing down there for? We're friends, aren't we? Come on, grab a chair. <sighs> Thanks, you guys. I don't know what I'd do if I didn't have friends like you. Just forget about today. Yeah, I'm sure every pony's forgotten all about it by mail. Hey, Aquafresh! Oh, hey, <gasps> Ah! Get away from me! I don't die. Was it something I said? Oh. <laughs> what the heck?